president of Banas College, director of Buddha Research Center, distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to be here at Barnard College. I'm so excited to be here and sorry uh, that uh, I might stay here for a short time period because I feel and I feel privileged to be among distinguished speaker at this event tonight, which has been co-organized by the Woodrow Wilson Center, an organization whose leading work on women and other issues I support. Please allow me to also my apologize for not being able to stay until the end of the session as I have to attend another important event tonight. It is nice to be here amongst fellow leaders, but it is always a special occasion for me to be among young students. As it is you who will dictate the future role of women in the development of the, our society. So let me speak with from the heart. For me, improving the welfare of women, promoting and protecting their rights is not only natural, but it is the right thing to do. Every woman, every woman is someone's mother or daughter, sister or companion. They deserve respect, support, and opportunities like everyone else. Women also make up more than half of the population in many countries, including Thailand. Therefore, it makes perfect sense that policy makers ensure quality opportunities for both men and women. This will allow for the entire population to drive economic growth and development. My view on this issue, as well as my policy, has developed from my personal experience. I grew up in a family that owned a small cinema business in the north, not a part of Thailand. Since I was a young girl, my father always encouraged me to help out my mother, collecting tickets and parking fees. <laughs> the life we can uh, we can tell now that's fun, but by that time it's not fun at all. So, <laughs> no time to play, no time to go any attention when I'm young. So I have to help my mother and my father. So this is not only allow me to learn about being an entrepreneur, but more importantly, I was given the opportunity to pursue my own path in both business and politics. However, throughout my career, I must admit that there were times that I was being judged and treated differently simply because of my gender. In success, I have had to work harder than others in order for my work to be accepted. I found that during times like this, women normally draw on our unique strength to meet these challenges. Indeed, I have had to rely on the strength both during my time at private companies and now as Prime Minister is promoting democracy and reconciliation in Thailand. This experience has not only taught me the importance of opportunities, but also that we need to work hard to achieve our goals. With this in mind, my policy are aimed at ensuring that women are given the opportunities and support to live productive and fulfilling lives. This begins with ensuring good health through the universal health coverage for women, pregnant women and mothers during the early stage of the child life cycle. Better access to health care and medicine will be provided for pregnant women. We recognize the importance of healthy and happy mothers to the successful development of the child. So we want to be supportive as possible. I have also stressed uh, the importance of access to the education 
vehicle can develop their potential further and where better understanding of gender issues could be promoted. In Thailand, more women than men graduate from college. Or we can send some here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a good sign. Education not only increases opportunities, but also help reduce chance of violence against women. For women empowerment, I have also launched the Women Development Fund to provide women with greater access to funding, giving them the chance to generate income through their own business. Apart from financial aid, this fund is managed in a democratic manner where people are elected from the local areas, allowing them to be the leader in developing their own communities. More importantly, this initiative offers consultation and advice to women suffering from abuse and domestic violence. I also support the work of the United Nations and related organizations to help advance the rights and welfare of women in the global communities, including the Every Woman, Every Child project of UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon. Let me conclude by saying that I sincerely believe that when given the opportunity, women have the strength to make a big difference. What do you think? This is true. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? We work together. On average, we may not be a physical strong as men, but we have many other qualities, such as better willingness to listen and seek compromise. It's true. Yes. In the end, our society will benefit as quality of men and women complement one another. May I wish all of you much success and happiness in your academic and professional area. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining us this evening and for your powerful and inspiring words. Thank you.